in 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. The one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is, what? is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. Why do you think Gary Owen can't cross over and he already white and been in comedy for 25 years? Platform, and I brought my guys and girls up. Mm -hmm. The brand of Kevin Hart is a brand that's expanded so fucking far, whether you like me or not, my presence in comedy will forever be felt. The term Illuminati has been associated with various clandestine organizations and has often been shrouded in mystery, though many politicians and prominent celebrities have been suspected to be members. Despite their secretive nature, some members have been revealed, as popular comedian Cat Williams did in a recent interview with Club Shay Shay. The dark secret of the entertainment industry is more than it meets the eye. Even your favorite celebrity might be into unbelievable acts in exchange for success. That's what got people guessing that Kevin Hart could be a part of the Illuminati after footage resurfaced, showing the comedian attempting to silence Kelly Clarkson. Appearing on The Kelly Clarkson Show, Hart could be seen shushing the talk show host after she spoke about doing things she didn't want to do for money. Clarkson then questioned Hart as to whether he had also received such offers, before suggesting that the people offering the money must be in the room. He then put his finger to his mouth in a shushing motion. Hart then said, That was my way of cueing you. It is open dialogue. We can talk about anything but not that. He then shushed her again with his finger. You've been off, yeah. Oh, they're in the room. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to. Yeah. That was my way of yeah, cueing you. Like it's While the clip is fairly open to interpretation, some social media users have suggested that Hart could be connected to a secret society that controls the industry. They seem to have a point at that because in just over a decade, the comic and movie star has built a booming brand and endorsement empire and many more while climbing about as high up the comedy mountaintop as possible. It seems the secret Kevin Hart didn't want anybody to know as he always presented himself as an independent personality got exposed by none other than his colleague, Cat William. In a show that has gone viral, Cat Williams chose to make a Wednesday appearance on Shannon Sharp's YouTube show club, Shay Shay, in which he unleashed a bevy of disparaging comments on several stars, most especially Kevin Hart to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. I can't do that because I. Uh, Steve told you that he stopped doing stand-up. During his interview, Williams suggested Hart was an industry plant, someone who presents as independent despite having the Hollywood industry or corporate connections. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold-out Kevin Hart show, there being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any comedy club, Williams said during the interview with Sharp. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian who came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his sitcom on network television and had his movie called Soul Plane that he was leading? No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person, he continued. Or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. After digging into the likes of other comics like Steve Harvey and Cedric the Entertainer, Williams took another dig at Hart later in the over two and a half hour interview. For five years, every single movie that Kevin Hart did was a movie that had been on my desk that all I had said was just, can we take some of this step and fetch it shit out and then I can do it said Williams, referring to the 1930s black actor who found fame for playing someone lazy. Like it doesn't need to be overtly homosexual because I'm not homosexual, right? Doesn't need that to be funny, right? And me saying that and them going, oh yeah, no problem. And then going to give it to this other guy and having him do it just like it was and acting like I'm a bad person because I keep standing on my standard. Yeah, it's interesting, but I wouldn't change it for the world. Again, I'm on the winning side of these decisions. One day later, Hart briefly responded on X, formerly Twitter, while promoting his upcoming Netflix movie, Lift. Gotta get that anger up out of champ. It's honestly sad, Hart wrote. While promoting his Netflix comedy, he took another shot at Williams, 
In the meantime, please enjoy my movie trailer. There's a moment in the trailer where co-star Gugu Mbatha-Raw says, they really love you. I now know she's talking about Kat. You probably would have thought Hart had put that to rest, but no. He wasn't backing down after Cat Williams suggested he was an industry plant and slammed his comedy career during the explosive podcast interview. Hart clapped back at Williams during an appearance on ESPN's NBA Unplugged. After host Kendrick Perkins referred to Williams' comments during the broadcast, Hart responded, Do you entertain the circus or watch it, Perk? Hart continued to mock Williams while watching footage from the recent matchup between the New York Knicks and Philadelphia 76 ERs. Another fun fact about the New York Knicks, I don't know if you guys know this, but Cat Williams bought the Knicks, and it's rumored that he took the Knicks back, returned them with a receipt. Hart said, He's the first person to ever do that. He bought them for 15 days and returned them. That's another fun fact about the New York Knicks. Hart also made jest of Williams' other claims during his interview, including that he read 3,000 books a year between the ages of 8 and 12. At the age of 7, he got accepted to, I think it was Delaware University, but that never made public news. Biggest secret in the world, smartest kid to ever do it, and they kept it a secret for 48 years, he said. This wasn't the first time Hart and Williams had gone at it. In 2018, Hart stood up for Tiffany Haddish, who Williams was bashing at the time, saying she hadn't earned her stripes in the comedy world. Oh, you don't even deserve that. So you get Kevin Hart, Lil Rail, Gerard Carmichael, all in a row, Hannibal Burris, just dudes that no woman would talk to in Lenox Mall, something. let alone you making a movie stars. Why? Because you know, ain't nobody gonna sleep with them. You only got Tiffany Haddish. Williams dissed Tiffany Haddish during an interview on the Frank and Wanda radio show, attacking Haddish's stand-up comedy abilities, commenting, she has not proven the ability to tell jokes back to back for an hour to nobody. He went on to suggest that her fame was due to making jokes that pander to white audiences and implied that she lied about an abusive former partner and went on to profit from it with her memoir, The Last Black Unicorn. Because they tell you that there's no gatekeepers, but we keep seeing the same people open the gate. Didn't Kevin open the gate and let Tiffany in? And he now opening it up for, don't such and such open the gate for, what do you mean ain't no gatekeepers? There's a hundred gates out here. This accusation prompted Hart to defend Haddish during an appearance on The Breakfast Club, while both stars were promoting their film Night School on the radio show. He said Williams already had his shot in Hollywood and blew it because he didn't show up to work and allegedly blew off his promo shoots and trips and became a risk to the studios which is why the studios stopped with him. Haddish could be seen nodding along to his remarks. My frustration with Cat Williams comes from, you keep pointing at Hollywood, Hollywood this, the white man, this, this, and this. When do you take responsibility for your actions? He said, you had the shot. You were the guy. You were set up to be the star. You didn't show up to work. You've asterisk teaked off promo shoots. You foo asterisk cut off the promo trips they set up for you. You became a risk to the studios, which is why the studios stopped fucking with you. Why was he a risk? Asked Breakfast Club co-host Charlemagne the God. He chose drugs, Hart answered. Cat Williams, have you ever used your platform to fucking bring the people that were under you up? Mm. You haven't. So because you haven't... In the Shay Shay interview, Williams also addressed Hart's 2018 statements, commenting that he had never scared off studios directing Sharp to check his IMDb profile while denying taking drugs. He said, I'm never under the influence of anything. He also called out Haddish again, attacking her stand-up resume. She quickly responded on Instagram by saying she wasn't mad at Williams, but that he got his facts wrong and that she would send him a reminder text before comparing him to Charleston White an online personality known for making controversial statements, including disparaging remarks about George Floyd and his family. 
nothing to me. And then I realized I never did nothing to that man. And I and then when I started like really listening to it, I was like, oh, he got his facts wrong. He's obviously not paying attention to me, and somebody must have been complaining to him about me mm-hmm. or whatever. And maybe he, he felt. Aside from Hart and Haddish, Ludacris, another actor also appeared to clap back at Williams, posting a short rap freestyle video. In perhaps his most unhinged comments of the Shay Shay interview, Williams claimed Ludacris joined the Illuminati. He revealed that Ludacris joined the supposed secret society in exchange for movie success, saying the star was offered $200 million to appear in 20 movies at $10 million a pop. Fast and Furious is on what number right now? Williams asked rhetorically, referring to the popular movie franchise that has now released 10 installments in a spin-off movie. We were both invited to an Illuminati thing, Williams said of Ludacris on the podcast. It had to be one or the other of us, and decisions had to be made. The deal is for him to cut his hair and sideburns in exchange for being in 20 movies. Although Ludacris never mentioned Williams by name, his verse, never been Illuminati, only ill Luda naughty, seemed to reference much of the comic's remarks. And that's it. Kevin Hart's career projection is truly a secret like other celebrities, but does it mean he is into the secret Illuminati, as Cat Williams said? Let us know your opinion in the comments.